Home Depot is reporting earnings here of $4.65 on revenues of $42.9 billion. That's both better than expected, actually 20 cents better than the street was looking for for their earnings. The home improvement retailer, to your point, Joe, reaffirming that previous guidance, which had been a pretty deep cut from before. And they had referred to this whole year, like we said, year of moderation. Home Depot's total comparable sales down 2%, and then U.S. same-store sales also fell 2%. But... That's better than the almost 4% drop that the analysts were expecting. It is the third quarter in a row, though, of falling comparable sales in the U.S. And the way I can see it, the only quarters with falling comps for at least as far back as 2014. In the release, CEO Ted Decker calls out strength in smaller projects, but then continued pressure in certain big-ticket discretionary categories. And I spoke briefly to CFO Richard McPhail. I asked him if the consumer behavior has decelerated from the last quarter based on what they're seeing. And he says, I, I wouldn't call it a deceleration. I would just say continued caution on the part of consumers when it comes to the larger ticket, more discretionary spending. Homeowners are still engaged in projects. They seem to be deferring larger projects and taking on more small ones that may be a function of higher interest rates. Further, McPhail said that cash really is being used as the primary funding source for projects. And then when it comes to inflation, he said, we don't expect to see meaningful inflation in the second half of the year. We have, in certain cases, decreased retail prices, but that's certainly not broad-based. I really look at it as almost a sort of settling out of prices in our market. And then shrink, of course, driven by organized retail crime has been a major topic in retail as of late. And it's something I've followed with Home Depot in particular since before the pandemic. McPhail said shrink for the quarter has been largely in line with what we've observed for the past several quarters and years. It continues to be a pressure in our business. And we're certainly continuing initiatives that are designed to mitigate that. We'll take different approaches based on the market. But of course, they are not quantifying it. Target quantifying the uh, shrink was a very rare step for a retailer. I can't remember, Mike, that ever happening before. That's right, seeing yeah. a retailer actually quantify a shrink. So. Stock has indicated it. We haven't traded yet, but 331 to 334 is the uh, the bid in the ass right now. If I were gonna up a little, yeah. If I were gonna organize a, a hit, I, I don't know if you kind of carry out a bunch of lumber and stuff. And, oh, I, I guess they got some 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 of those machines. Sure. That they have are pretty expensive. But Tiffany comes to mind. Initially, you know, just where you can grab a lot of, uh, right? I think it's smash a little and grab. Under uh, glass, smash, smash and grab. Smash and grab has been taking place at Walgreens. If it's, I don't, what, and it's for, also, it's for Prilosec? It, I, no, I, I, I'm saying I want a lot of bang for my buck. I want a lot of bang for my buck. Have you ever tried to buy a, I, I a thing of toothpaste or no. Nexium or No, I, I, can get a, I can get a crack pipe free, but uh, I cannot get any Prilosec uh, in, in New York City. But I, I don't know. Home Depot, help me with this big, long Two by four. There's some small stuff that's small, pretty small pricey. Stuff. Things, things that are more easily resold. Uh, when I followed along on a sting, there was a lot of drills. It's amazing power that tools, we're talking. Things like amazing that. we're talking about. It. I saw some of the videos yesterday. Which store was that? Was it a Nordstrom or something that I saw yesterday? I don't know which video you mean. So I mean, it's almost daily. There's, unfortunately, it's there's daily. a lot. No, there was one all over the place yesterday. It got a hundred thousand. Did you see hundred thousand no. dollars worth of stuff? I think it was uh, Nordstrom.